Prime Vault is officially dead for good, and the Prime Resurgence program has replaced the outdated rotation system of the Vault. This has to be one of the most monumental changes to the game ever since relics were first introduced, and I'm glad the Resurgence has been handled with care. We're no longer relegated to waiting months upon months for sets of Primes to be re-released, and we're no longer going to get the same unvaults within a year, and we're finally going to get a more automated system that keeps the cycles fresh and constantly rotating. The old Prime Vault system was first introduced back in March of 2015, and it served as a way to negate the diluted loop pools as more and more Primes were being introduced. This way, it wouldn't be super difficult to obtain new and current Prime gear because the pool wasn't so diluted. However, this posed one major problem. Availability. Because during this time, Void Keys were the main system of obtaining Prime parts, and Void Keys were a single-use item that awarded a Prime part. However, you cannot change the drop rates of the Primes inside that key since it was a Void mission, not a relic. This means all common, uncommon, and rare items had a fixed drop rate, although sometimes it felt as if day 1 drop rates were significantly lower. Because of this, newer Prime sets were much more expensive, as it was difficult to get even after the first few days. Sometimes the sets were even more valuable if one or two items were locked behind an endless rotation. For example, Ash Prime Systems. Thus, you would need to spend an incredible amount of time trying to get a chance at obtaining an item. If an item was behind Rotation C defense, you had to run that defense. There wasn't any capture or exterminate fissure as an alternative. But the biggest issue was when an item was retired into the vault. The item would drastically increase in value because now there was a finite amount. You can no longer farm a vaulted item once it was in the vault, even if you had the keys that once had the parts. It was unfarmable. Because of this, people started selling their Frost Prime sets for insane amounts of plat, and it got even worse when Ember also went into the vault as her sets started rising into the thousands. This was a big problem for many players and new players. Making plat back then was a lot more difficult than it is now, so spending 1000 plat for a single prime set was not an easy bargain. Because of this system, a lot of players couldn't even obtain the primes that were vaulted anymore, and it wasn't until the unvaults where they got the opportunity to farm again. But the first unvault was still a big problem. Nowadays, when something is unvaulted, the primes have their own relics so it's easier to obtain them, whereas before, the items that were unvaulted were put right back into the drop tables, thus diluting the loot pool, making it harder to farm the unvaulted items. And the day after the set was back to the vault, prices skyrocketed once again. It wasn't until the introduction of the relic system that sort of fixed the prime vault, however even then with relics the prime unvaults were slow. Players were given 2 months now instead of 30 days because they started to unvault 2 characters and 6 weapons in rotation. Eventually 2 months went to 3 months, and then they unvaulted 3 characters instead, Loki, Frost, and Ember, but oddly only put their relics behind Kanzu's bounties, which made farming them more tedious than usual. Then time goes by and the unvault rotations get slower and slower. Eventually we had to wait over half a year with Nova and Trinity Prime as they straight up just forgot about the unvault system. Eventually the rotations got a bit more smoother, but oftentimes they would go beyond 2 months which made players patiently wait for a new rotation of primes that were never unvaulted before. It got to the point where we got repeated unvaults which was really frustrating. Thankfully at the end of 2021, right before the new wars release, we got introduced to the prime resurgence system. Every 2 weeks, 2 sets of prime accessories were being unvaulted and rotated. Unfortunately, on release, Regal Aya was extremely expensive, and it was a complete scam as you would not get a platinum bonus when purchasing Regal Aya, as well as the packs being very expensive. They quickly fixed this and addressed the problem, but it rubbed a lot of players the wrong way. Prime Resurgence itself was a good experiment, but because of the extremely short rotations and how Regal Aya was handled on launch, it left a poor taste. Thankfully, with the new Resurgence, it has completely replaced the Prime Vault. No longer are we required to wait years to get one unvault for a certain set of characters, and with it being permanent, new players have a very streamlined format and system of obtaining Prime items they can never once grind before. And for older players, this is a great chance for them to get older Prime accessories they missed out on. The Prime Vault being dead is one of the greatest changes to come to Warframe, as it finally addressed the core gameplay of farming for Prime items and the issues that the Vault had. No longer are you required to just farm plat to buy a prime set, as now you can actually actively farm for prime sets on a monthly basis. And what's also amazing about the resurgence is that you can pre-farm Aya for the next rotation so you're not stuck waiting until the next relics come out, as you can still actively pre-farm Aya for the next rotation. Now the only part left is to actually rotate the primes in a more reasonable order. Anyways, that's it for me. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, leave a like down below and be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.